G'day, I'm Dr. Chris Showalter, PT, Program Director of MAPS, Maitland Australian Physiotherapy Seminars Fellowship. I'm making this short video today to inform you of a masterclass paper that my colleagues and I recently had published in Musculoskeletal Science and Practice. My two colleagues on this work were primary author Andrea Westbrook, who completed this uh, paper as part of the research component of her fellowship with MAPS, and Vincent Cabaz, who was Andrea's senior faculty advisor and mentor throughout not only the research component, but her entire mentorship. And congratulations again to Andrea on receiving the FAOMT title from the American Academy. Our paper is entitled Eagle Syndrome, Elongated Styloid Process and New Evidence for Pre-Manipulative Precautions for potential cervical arterial dysfunction. It's currently available online and will likely publish in the next issue of uh, Musculoskeletal Science and Practice. Eagle's syndrome is an anatomical syndrome, which is typified by the presence of elongated styloid processes from the base of the skull. Because of the complexity of the anatomical relationships in this area, Elongated styloid uh, can result in patients presenting with signs and symptoms that have potentially neural, vascular, and or autonomic presentations. The normal length for a styloid process is between 2.5 centimeters and 3 centimeters. Anything beyond 3 centimeters is considered elongated. Patients who have had bony dissections, known bony dissections of the external and internal carotid arteries have demonstrated styloid processes from 3 to 4.5 centimeters in length. And these patients retain the mobility of the cervical spine, and hence there's greater potential for the tip of the styloid that can injure or even puncture the arteries. So what? This is a paper about anatomical esoterics, right? Well, not quite. Because the incidence rates for Eagle syndrome are somewhere between 30 and 36% in the reported literature. That's one third of the patients that you see in your practice for neck pain, TMD, headache, etc. There are over 30 documented cases of carotid dissection and many of these cases were precipitated by neck movements, <clears throat> including neck massage, cradling the phone between the shoulder and the ear, holding a newborn child, or doing chin-up exercises. Now, what about TMD? A 2018 study by Constantides et al. found that 72% of 194 patients diagnosed with TMD had an elongated styloid process with a mean length of 4.1 centimeters. 72% of these patients had a mean length of 4.1 centimeters. In the 1950s, this was reported as uh, prevalence or incidence of about 4% of the population. A lot has changed. So what does all this mean? Well, obviously it's about safety. Safety is always our primary with managing patients. With a 30 to 36% incidence of Eagle syndrome, we must assess every cervical patient we see. We must complete a thorough subjective examination and develop indices of suspicion. We must use clinical reasoning, clinical hypothesis generation, subsequent testing, reworking, refining, rejecting, modifying, and developing new clinical hypotheses throughout the subjective and physical examination. A physical examination needs to be focused. You can even gently palpate the styloid processes. Now, obviously, we as physical therapists are not going to be performing a medical intervention to change the anatomy of the styloid processes, nor is any of our physical therapy going to change this bony anomaly. Our primary role here is to safely assess the patients and refer on to competent neurologists, orthopedists, etc., and get the appropriate imaging so that the patients can get the care they need. 
<clears throat> as frontline clinicians, we may be the first people to suspect that the patient has uh, Eagle syndrome. A question for you. Should we consider Eagle syndrome a contraindication to thrust manipulation in the cervical spine? My colleagues and I say yes, and we suggest that it's a very important issue that needs to be discussed. So as I close, to learn more about Eagle syndrome, check out the masterclass online at muscul musculoskeletal science and practice. And as I'm recording this on December 21, I'd like to wish everyone happy holidays. And I hope that you, like I, am looking forward to a vaccinated and COVID-free 2021. Cheers. Have a great day.